this clock was visible outside the front door those small little rooms there and it would go off prior on your offense, five yards all right, it would chime prior to 6 o'clock in the morning when everyone's getting up to take their classes. Well, some uh, creative young men took their rifles and started shooting at the thing to stop the clock. <laughs> no truth to the fact that Vino had a shotgun, but they put bulletproof glass over the front of that to save the clock, and it chimes to this day, not all the time, 6 a.m. You know, kids, kids through the ages have done anything to shut off an alarm clock and, and a way to miss class, right? Third down and 11. They need to take it to the 10-yard line. Wow. Good move right there. The youngster's going to run it, slide down, and very wisely where he goes down, he's got the first down. 11 yards in the run, and Mike, you can see why they like him. There is great yeah. mobility there. And he he is a wise man because he didn't take a hit. Look at this move on man. Here comes man. Zoop. He's gone. Visions of Charlie Ward there. So it's first and goal for Florida State. Five and a half minutes remaining in our ball game. Sheldon comes back in a tailback. They give it to him. And Sheldon's going to take it for a three-yard game. All the programs in the ACC, you're measured by FSU. And Al Grohl knows that he's got to recruit some better players and add to the strength of his team if he's going to compete with these guys. And he knows they're going to be better next year. Greg Jones on the ground tonight, career high, 107 yards, 18 carries. And Florida State, a season high, 275 yards on the ground. Maddox at 77. McPherson looking to throw, got a man open in the end zone. Did he get his feet down? Yes. Touchdown. That is Smith. Travis Smith in the far corner of the end zone. A junior out of Miami. The players are real happy for Travis Smith. Interesting. As take us through this, Mike. Well, he got off the ball a little late. Travis Smith and uh, Virginia just kind of gave up on it. In the secondary, does a nice job of getting his feet in the in bounds here, and a good throw from McPherson. But the uh, with the extra point attempt, and he's got it. So 4:47 left in the ball game, and Florida State's lead now 36 to seven. We'll take a break. would just about be history and MJ continues his comeback in Washington. Join me, Linda Cohn, along with John Anderson for Sports Center after football. Travis Smith on the sideline caught that last touchdown pass and it's great to see in team sports. Here's a guy that works awfully hard but doesn't get to play on a regular basis and you could see how much his teammates like and respect him. He obviously is a hard worker and a good team guy because they uh, came rushing yeah, down the sideline. They did and you like to see that. Uh, and McPherson also closing out this night with a good throw and that's what you practice for that smile right there. Yeah, you're right. So Stein will kick off and he has been a real busy guy particularly in the second half as the Seminoles have scored 26 unanswered points in the second half. Mason. 